Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Priya Darshi, and we're talking about 3PAR 7450. Now, it was my understanding that, that HP had kind of made the statement that they were, they were never going to buy a flash storage uh, solution or, or, or company, and I, I guess the 7450 might be the reason why? Hey, Jake, good to be here. And yeah, you got it. I mean, that is exactly the reason why we made that statement. We knew right when we acquired 3PAR that the architecture is flash optimized. You know, we, we saw through the architecture, our CTO folks looked at it, and they knew what was coming. So tell me a little bit about what, what it makes up the 7450, what makes it special in relation to the, the 7000 series or, or just as part of the greater 3PAR family? Yeah, so what we've done uh, with 7450 is we have uh, beefed up the CPU quite a bit. Right, so it's an 8-core processor now, 2.3 gigahertz um, processor. We have amped up the cache a lot, and what that results into is a very high performance scalability, over half a million IOPS, but more importantly, at less than 0 0.7 milliseconds of latency. Right. And and is that latency uh, th that latency that you get is that kind of the um, defining difference between using the flash drives versus using traditional drives? Uh, in some respects, it is actually. Um, if you if, if customers want a consistent latency, right, uh, flash drives are the best uh, solutions for those consistent latency. Now, you can put flash drives uh, in a traditional architecture as well, right, but. Uh, just slapping flash onto a traditional architecture will not give, give you the performance nor the latency that the flash drives are able to deliver. So what is the, the, the secret sauce of the 7450? What makes, what makes it uh, you know, truly a, a, a first class citizen in the three part world? Yeah, uh, that the secret sauce, we have been brewing that for last a year or more actually. Uh, what we have been looking at is we have been studying the flash media very carefully. Uh, we have been trying to understand how the IOPS behave with flash media, you know, what the read-write patterns are, and we have realized that uh, when it comes to working with flash, cache management becomes really important. So our caching algorithms, um, as they're now written in white papers and stuff, they're very dramatically different than what they used to be uh, prior to us launching 7450. And the beautiful thing over there is any enhancement that we have done with 7450 are now available across our three-part product line. That's the beauty of one OS. We have one OS, it's optimized for flash, and it, it works on the HP 10,000 three-part, the HP 7000 three-part, and HP 7450 three-part now. So as a, as a customer, I, I would have the ability to um, use the, the same tools no matter which version of 3PAR, and I could, I could use the 7450 and any other 7000 or, or even the Tier 1 storage all in conjunction with each other? Absolutely, that is the goal, right? Uh, one architecture, in fact, that's what we are delivering on today. Uh, most Flash players out there in the market right now, I call them, they are busy creating silos for their customers in their data centers, right? With 3 par 7450, you've got the exact same architecture, the exact same OS, and exact same manageability tools. And you can now introduce the 7450 in your data center, and your administrators don't have to learn anything new. It's one architecture. You can replicate from a 7450 to any existing 3 par box. You can actually move data from 7450 to 7000 or to the 10,000, and all you can do all this non-disruptive to the host. And, and that's an, an active, active move? That's an active, active move, thanks to the peer motion technologies that we have. And with regard to kind of the, the uh, upper limits of hardware in terms of the 7450, what's the, what's the maximum number of drives that I could put in? Uh, so the 7450 supports up to 240 SSD drives today. Uh, what that gives you is we support 100 gig, 200 gig, and 400 gig SSDs. So you're talking about raw capacity. It gives you up to 96 terabyte of raw capacity. And as we introduce newer and, and larger SSD drives, that raw capacity just keeps increasing. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, Jake, it has been a you know huge thing for us launching the 7450. You know, all flash rate. And I should not forget to mention this: uh, 7450 is the only flash array in the market that comes with that delivers the performance without any compromises on the rich data services. I mean, it has got every single data service that our 10,000 series of platform has. Replication, two sites, three sites, you know, peer persistence, which allows uh, you know, your VMs to fail over from one data center to another data center and do all this non-disruptively. We support encryption in it. We support, of course, thin provisioning is built in by default. We've got quality of service that allows you to provision IOPS for a particular tenant. So you can provision IOPS 10,000 to this tenant, 100,000 to the second tenant. It is, it's almost just works like completely beautiful. And this is the only platform that delivers all of these capabilities in an all flash rate today. Wow, that sounds impressive. Well, PD, thank you. 
Jake, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for having me over here.